This is the Swan River on Sunday night, just after sunset. Completely different conditions than the last time I was here. Last time I had perfect still conditions. Today it was windy and choppy and not very good at all. The purpose of this observation though is to show you how your assistant at only 7.4 kilometers away is invisible. You might even call him the hollow man. So in this footage, someone is holding up the core flute sign there, but no matter how hard you look, you can't see him. The white of the core flute, however, is easily visible. Maybe if I get my assistant to wear white clothing, that might also help out. Several Globers have rejected the idea that our sight is limited. Well, here my assistant is only 7.4 kilometers away and you can't make him out. He is the hollow man. Kevin Bacon would be proud. It's because of the poor visibility that day, I hear you say. Sure, but even on the calm day, I couldn't make out my assistant at 7.4 kilometers either. I even had one Glover comment that because my assistant is not visible, that proves somehow that the assistant must be below, yep, the curve of the earth. Now that really is grasping at straws. No, it's quite simple. My assistant is too small and there's not enough contrast against the background combined with the atmospheric distortion and bingo, you have the hollow man. Okay, the other thing to learn from this observation is the obstruction you get over water. The comment that annoys me the most is that a one foot wave or swell can't obstruct a six foot object. It's simple geometry. Flat earthers don't understand geometry. If you're a glober who makes this comment, please stop. Just stop doing it. You are just plain wrong. And this footage should prove that for you. You see, on the calm day, we had the torch right down on the waterline and you could see it easily. In this footage, it shocked me how high I had to go to see the torch. I had the camera at about three meters above the water. And as you can see by this image, my assistant was holding the call flute sign up at head height. And when he was holding the torch, he said he had it above head height with his arms as high as they could go. Now the waves on the Swan River were probably one foot, I guess, about as high as it gets here. But those one foot waves obstructed a huge amount, probably at least two meters of obstruction. And no, this is not curvature. I was too high up for any curvature to affect. If you look at the core flute, it looks vertical, but it wasn't. It's mirroring from top to bottom, so it makes it look like it's vertical. Also, look at the car lights here. You can see the mirroring in action. You see, it's this mirroring that causes the obstruction over water. It's not just the one foot waves. It's another layer on top, probably caused by water vapor is my best guess. I think it's like you have a series of mirrors across the top of the water, causing obstruction over and above the waves themselves. As I said, if you're a glober still quoting geometry of one foot wave versus a six foot object, then you need to do as my old man said, get off your ass, put the slide rule away, and start doing your own observations. Can a one foot wave cause a six feet obstruction? Damn straight it can. And it's time this became an accepted fact. There is now a mountain of evidence that demonstrates this concept. Thanks for watching. Quick update. I'm currently planning for another attack on the salt flats and this time we will succeed.